Selling product in public lobbies can be tricky as a solo player due to the amount of griefers that could destroy your product. But in this video, I wanna quickly share with you a process I use that has allowed me to sell every single time and earn that massive bonus. So the first step in the process is checking what kind of sell mission do you have? I personally only ever do the sell mission if I have one vehicle. For example, the nightclub will always guarantee you one vehicle. The acid lab will always guarantee you one vehicle. If you sell the stock after one supply at the bunker business, you are guaranteed one vehicle. Those are the only missions I'm willing to do in a public lobby as a solo player. And very quickly, the reason why is just the more vehicles you have, the longer the mission takes, the higher the likelihood that you will be griefed. And if you have products just sitting out in the open and you're not by it, you don't have friends to protect it, more likely that stuff can get blown up too. The second thing to do is choose the right session. Now, I personally only sell in 20 or more player lobbies because that's going to get you at least a 40% bonus, 2% per player, but I sell in these massive lobbies. And what I do is before I do the sell mission, I go into my map and I check and see what's going on in the lobby. If I see quite a few people doing other sell missions or cargo missions and they don't seem to be bothered, that's a good sign. If you see people running around with oppressors, like you could see in this clip here, killing other people, they could be friends, they could not be, I don't know. but if you see a lot of that kind of activity or certain vehicles like tanks being used, it's probably a good idea to just move to another lobby. And that's personally what I do. But once you've found the right lobby with seemingly passive people, it is now time to sell. So you're gonna go sell whatever product you have. And when you get into the vehicle, what I personally do is I go into my interaction menu and hover over ghost organization. You could activate this either if you're a CEO or a VIP. It's in the ability section hover over ghost organization, which if you choose to use it, will take you and your product off the radar for three minutes. It's a great tool to use if you're going through an area where there's a lot of stuff going on or you feel like you could be in possible danger. Turning on ghost organization takes you off the radar, makes it a lot harder for griefers to get to you. But the important thing to do is to only use it when you think you absolutely need to. So in my case, I got to the area where I had to deliver the product and I realized that there were some people close by that could have posed a threat, probably weren't gonna do anything, but there was a possibility. I just decided to use Ghost Organization just because I knew I was gonna have to be contained to that area, so that would be easier for griefers to get to me. I'm also not in this city, so I'm in a more an open space, which once again is easier for griefers to target me. So with those factors involved, I decided to use Ghost Organization, but just use it whenever you feel like there's a possibility of things going wrong. And with using those three steps, you should be fine like 95% of the time. But there is still a small chance that you end up running into the situation where people are coming after you. And if you feel there's a very good chance that they will blow up your product, that is the best time to go into a new session or to close the game. And what's gonna happen is when you do that, you will lose some product. I tried it for this video and I lost about 9% of my product but that is way better than losing 100 or 50% of the product that could happen if they destroyed everything. But like I said, I only suggest you doing this if you feel like there's a very good chance something can happen to all of your product. There's always the option of going into a PvP match, but I personally just decide to avoid it because you never know how good the other player is. I don't bother. Might as well just take a small hit and move on to the next session rather than trying to save your product and having it blown up. So with that being said, a quick recap of the four step process that has always gotten me through my cell missions. One, make sure it's a single vehicle cell mission. Two, make sure to check your session, make sure it's a good one to sell in. Three, use ghost organization if you absolutely need to or you feel threatened. And then four, if worse comes to worse, load into a new session or close your game so that not all of your product or the majority of it is destroyed. I hope this helped. That's the only reason why I'm making this video. Hopefully this helps people and it gives you more confidence to sell in public lobbies. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.